Hi guys, my name is Anuj Jindal. Welcome to my channel, Banking and Finance Insights. Today I want to talk about JIB examination. A lot of aspirants, a lot of students who have been working in public sector banks are now must be thinking about writing JIB as well as CIB exams because that is how you get salary increments. That is how you move up the ladder of your organization through promotion. But because of our hectic schedule as uh, an officer in the bank or a clerk in the bank, it often becomes very difficult for us to figure out what is the syllabus of these exams, what are the different modules and subjects that you have to go through and how do you go through them at the with the minimum expense or minimum effort possible. Today's video is one such video where I will be talking about and breaking down the subjects which are to be asked in JIB examination. There are a total of four subjects which are to be asked in examination and 16 modules. Now these four subjects and 16 modules have been divided by me in a different way. Four subjects, 16 modules, they have been divided by me in a different way. What is this difference in the way that I have created here? There are a total of four subjects, but I would like to divide it into three subjects for your simplicity and better understanding. The fourth subject is also under banking, also comes under banking. So banking is divided into two subjects, but I have accumulated these two subjects into one only so that it becomes easier for you to understand as well as study for all these four subjects. There are a total of 16 modules, which I think are equivalent to 16 subjects. So you have to read a lot of subjects. But the good thing about JIB is that all these subjects have to be read only at the shallow level, at a top level. You do not have to get into details or depth of these subjects. So if you have a basic conceptual understanding of these subjects of these modules, it's going to be a cakewalk for you to clear the exam in your first attempt itself. Let's try and understand the categorization of all these modules. As I said, I have created a total of three subjects here, economy, accounting and finance and banking. As I said, banking is divided into further two subjects, but I have combined these two and created a total of eight modules. Economy can the there are a total of four modules. First of all, we'll be talking about the concepts of economy, then economic architecture as well as financial architecture in our country as well as globally and various financial products that are provided in our country, whether it is equity or debt or any other financial product. In accounting and finance, you will be going through the basics and principles of accounting, the basics of financial management, basics of taxation and costing, basics of financial statements and core banking solution. Core banking solution feels like it should come under banking, but it comes under accounting and finance because it is connected with financial statements. The last one is banking, wherein you will be reading banking operations, which a lot of you will be well versed with to a certain extent because you're already working in the banks. You will also be Understanding the lending operations, this will also help you uh, be a better officer when you end up working in the loan department. The banking technologies, now this is upcoming area which requires a lot of attention. Why? Because there are a lot of cyber frauds and cyber threats which are also coming up. Ethics in banks, retail banking, retail products, marketing of banking products. Now, when you actually start working in the bank as an officer, you will realize that it is more about marketing and less about operations or as much effort you have to put in operations, similar effort has also to be uh, put in marketing of these banking products because that is how the bank makes money. If the bank is profitable, you will also keep getting your salary and you will also be able to grow further. And the last is wealth management. How do you manage your wealth? As a bank, as well as for individuals, how do you make sure that their wealth management is also managed by you through the bank? So all these things, products related to the banking system, concepts of economy, so concepts of economy, concepts of accounting and finance, as well as the concepts and or plus the products that you will be using when you start working in the bank or if you're already working in the bank, these three things are going to be the focus of JIB. It's a very simple examination. 
you do not have to study a lot but you have to study in the right direction if you are able to memorize these 16 modules automatically it will become much easier for you to understand how do you go forward how do you proceed with the actual preparation of the examination if you have any doubts regarding jib you can reach out to me on double nine double nine four double six double two five the name of my website is anujindal.in you can also go to the website and research whatever you need to know about jaib and cib examination on this channel i will be specifically talking about finance and banking and I'm starting with JIB. Uh, after this, or along with this, I will start talking about and discussing various core concepts of finance and banking as well. So if you are a banker or a person who's preparing for banking examinations, including RBI, etc., etc., this channel is going to help you a lot in your general awareness, understanding of finance and banking, as well as getting clarity about examinations, certifications like JIB and CIB. I'll see you very soon guys. I hope this video was useful and you've understood now the 16 modules that you have to go through if you are preparing for JIB. I'll see you very soon again. All the best. Take care. Bye-bye.